boys and girls. We are so excited to have class today and to be able to see you again. And we're looking forward to going over um, some things where we will sing songs. Mm -hmm. we and love to sing. Theo's coming for a visit again. Yay. And we're going to talk about our memory verse. And Debbie has a great Bible story for us today. And then we're going to end with a prayer. And we hope you are just as excited as we are. Well, let's start by singing our favorite song, Jesus Loves Me. Oh, great idea. Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, that was good. It was good. And you know, boys and girls, Jesus loves you so much, and he loves all the children in the whole world. He does. Let's sing. That's a great song to sing. Yes, let's okay. sing. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Oh, that makes me feel special, you it know. It makes me feel special, too. Because even though we're grown up, we're still God's children. We you are know? God's children. All Sometimes right. I like to have fun like children. I do, too. I do, too. That's why we like to teach you so much. It is. All right, let's sing Our God is So Big. All right, ready? Put your hands together like this. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the trees are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right. Well, it's just about time to start our Bible lesson for today. Um, are we going to do our memory verse first before the lesson? Or? I think that we probably are. Okay. Oh, but did we want to sing that one song Let's, first? Yes, I do. I want to sing that. All right. So ready? Let's sing as we get very quiet. And I want you to find a place to sit down if you're standing up now. So you can get quiet and you can listen and do the memory verse with us and then listen to the puppets again real carefully and then the Bible lesson, okay? God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to Darlene, why don't you teach us about our Bible I will. memory verse? And our memory verse today comes from Psalm 95, 6, and it's right here in the Bible. It says, Come, let us bow down to worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Mm. And we're going to say it together. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Psalm 95, 6. And we're going to say that a few more times. But before we do, I want you to know, we can worship God anywhere in the whole That's world. Right. It doesn't matter where we are. It could be our house. Or it could be outside. It could be on vacation or at our friend's house. It could even be while we're taking a bath. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and when we worship God, we are telling God how much we love Him and how thankful we are for everything God does for us. And when we sang today, we were worshiping God That's with right. our voices. That's right. And we were showing Him how much we love Him. So I'm going to um, read you a little bit about Micah 6, 8 again, or this time, Micah 6, 8, and we're going to learn what some of those Bible words mean. He has shown you, oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And let's find out what that means. He has showed you, O oh man, what is good means God has shown us the right things to do. 
in the Bible, he tells us what to do. So now we know. And what does the Lord require of you? Well, that's just asking, what does the Lord want us to do? Mm -hmm. What does God want us to do, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, he gives us the answer. He says to act justly. justly. And that means to be fair, to do the right thing, and love mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's where we love how God forgives us when we make a mistake. And sometimes we make mistakes. God forgives us, and he wants us to forgive other people, too. And to walk humbly mm -hmm. means three. to show God that we know he's the leader, he's the boss. Yes. And we obey God. We like to do what God tells us to. So, boys and girls, what do you think it means to worship God? Hmm. Hmm. What's that? I heard somebody say it means to show God we love him. That's right. It, that's what we're doing. We're showing God we love him and we thank him for loving us and making us because he made us. Yes. Hey, it says our Lord, our maker. He did. He made us. Mm -hmm. And what are some ways we can worship God, boys and girls? Can we pray? We can pray. We mm -hmm. can pray. And I heard somebody say sing. And that's right. We can sing. What? Yes. Yes. We can tell God we love him. We can obey God and do things God wants us to do. We can even clap our hands for God. Yes. When we do something for God, we're worshiping God. Yes, when, we, when he does something for us, we say thank you, and that's worshiping God. We do say thank you. We worship God because God is holy. That's our Bible point for today. God is holy. Let's say our key verse together one more time. And this time, I'm going to say a few words, and then you say them. Come, let us bow down. Come, let us bow down. In worship. In worship. Let us kneel. Let us kneel. Before the Lord our Maker. Before the Lord our Maker. Psalm 95, 6. Psalm 95, 6. Great job, everyone. You did wonderful. I am so proud of you. Do you, do you hear something? I do, I do. Oh, listen, everybody. Theo's coming. He's got something to show us, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's find out what it is. Hi, everybody. <gasps> hey, Theo. Oh, it's so good to see you at church with us today. What, what do you have with you? Well, this is a hand clapper. I use it to make noise when I sing, um, when I want to worship God. Now that's a good choice, Theo. I love to make noise and clap my hands when I sing about God. Yeah, well, what are some other ways to worship God? Well, Theo, we worship God in a lot of ways. Clapping our hands is a good way to worship God. But it's not the only way. I bet... Some of my friends can tell you many ways to worship God. We talked about that a little bit before you came in. We did. Well, some of them, they said, were telling God that you love Him. Some of them were saying, by praying, another way, by reading the Bible. I don't think we thought of that one. That's a good one. And, of course, singing is such a good way to worship God. All right. And you know what? When we make good choices, when we do the right thing, we are worshiping God. We can tell God that we love Him. Wow, there are lots of ways to worship God. That's right, Theo. We can worship and praise God any time and any place. I think I heard you guys worshiping God when I came in today. You're right. We were worshiping God. Well, you guys have fun learning today. I have to go home now. Okay, now you have a good day. All right, and you have fun clapping and clacking those things. All right, let's say goodbye to Theo, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, boys and girls, I like it when Theo comes. He helps us to learn. So, how do you like to worship? 
I like to pray and I like to talk to God kind of all day when things happen. I like mm -hmm. to say stuff to God. Yes, I do too. I do too. And, you know, there's a reason that we worship God. Of course, one of the reasons is because God made us that it, way. He, he made Lord. us to worship God. And so when we clap our hands to worship, just like Theo was doing, mm -hmm. we, when we sing, we remember our Bible point. That God is holy. There are many ways that we can remember to worship God. You know, things will remind us. Mm -hmm. We can see a beautiful flower growing. Or when we look at the big, beautiful blue ocean. Or the tall, tall trees. Or a waterfall. We can worship whenever we hear or see something that reminds us that God created he made everyone and everything. Oh, yeah. All right. I think it's about time for our Bible story. Oh, I'm excited about this story. Okay. Now, you're sitting very quietly so you can listen. Okay. Now, the Bible tells us that God is holy. And I, I just want to tell you that if you don't understand about holy, Holy means perfect, never, never having anything wrong with it. And God can never do anything that's wrong. God is perfect. God is holy. So this chair, I don't know if you can see all of it, that I'm sitting in, is kind of like a throne that a king would sit in. Okay, well, who is our king? God, God is our king. So we're going to pretend, because part of the story is talking about God's throne. A throne is this big, extra special chair that only kings get to sit on. God's throne is holy because only God sits on that special chair. Well, you know, you can think about maybe a special chair mm -hmm. in your home. I'm thinking about it in my home, and I bet you have some in your home. You might have a special room that has uh, the best furniture in it. You know, the, the very best chairs and sofa. And they're not the kind of chairs that you would play on. Okay? So think about maybe something like that in your home. All right. I was, I was thinking that, you know, that's something that gets you thinking about special places. Because God's throne is a most special place. And we call God holy because that means he's the only special one. God gets a very special place because he's the only God. So let's pretend that this chair is God's throne. Okay. All right. There was a man in the Bible. And his name was Isaiah. And Isaiah loved God very, very much. And so one day, Isaiah had a dream. Isaiah saw in this dream God sitting on his holy throne. Yeah, this holy throne. Yes. What do you imagine God looks like on his throne? Well, I, I, I can't even imagine because God is so well, the Bible tells us that Isaiah saw God in heaven, sitting on his throne, wearing a long, beautiful robe that filled the whole room. Wow, that must have been big. There must have been, you know, the fabric, the material, the robe, just all over, all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, Isaiah also saw these beautiful angels that were flying Boys and girls, close your eyes and try to picture that. God sitting on the throne, his robe filling the whole room and angels flying all around. Let's close our eyes. All right. Well, boys and girls, there's, this is, there's a song that Miss Darlene and I were thinking about that helps us to picture and imagine 
how holy God is. You might have heard it. It's an old song that, that God's people have been singing for a long time. It's called Holy, Holy, Holy. So, so, Debbie, do you want them to keep their eyes closed and, and picture God while we sing? I think that'd be really good. Great so, idea, boys and girls. Close your eyes. Boys and girls, and we're going to listen to this song. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful, So let's pretend that we're angels flying all around the throne. I like that. I like how you're doing that. Of the most holy God. While we fly, let's tell everyone, God is holy. Say that. God is holy. God is holy. God is holy. All right. When Isaiah saw this, he was so amazed that he said in a loud voice that he didn't even Look at our holy and perfect God. So let's bow with our eyes closed again and let's say, God is so perfect. Let's sing it again. Say it again one more time. God is so perfect. All right. Now Isaiah knew that he was not perfect like God. He had done wrong things. Raise your hand if you've ever done a wrong thing. Okay. I have. We all have. We've all disobeyed our parents at some time. We've all maybe not shared with our friends. You know, we know that we've done things that we shouldn't have done. All of us have done wrong things. But God is so perfect. He has never done anything that was wrong. Isaiah said that he was so sad about doing wrong things, one of the angels flew over to him and touched his lips with a very hot piece of coal. Now, close your eyes and think of something really hot touching your lips. When the angel touched Isaiah, it showed him that God had forgiven Isaiah for the wrong things that he had done. Tell about a time when someone forgave you. Well, um, one time I was angry and I said something that wasn't very nice. Mm -hmm. And then later I said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. And they forgave me. All right. That's, that's what we need to do. When we do the wrong thing, we should say we're sorry. And that's what Isaiah did, you know. He told God that he was sorry, and God forgave him. And after God forgave Isaiah, God asked him, Who will I send to tell the people about me? And Isaiah told God that he would go and tell the people. What do you think about what Isaiah saw? Wow. I, I tell you what, if I had seen that, I would, I would be afraid, I think. I would be scared, but, you know, but to think that I was in the presence of the Holy God, then I would, I would just feel, you know, that in awe, that God was so perfect. And maybe feel really, really loved, too. Yes. Then I would, I would realize I'm in God's presence, and He loves me so that He allowed me to be in His presence. Yeah. When Isaiah saw God, he felt surprised, just like we said, 
excited. He loved God very much, and he knew that God is holy and perfect. And Isaiah told God that he would tell other people how wonderful and holy God is. And you can tell other people that too. God is holy. God is holy. All right, well, Miss Darlene and I have been thinking that, you know, we need to give you maybe a little bit of an assignment, a little bit of mm -hmm. homework. Not anything that you really have to write down or anything like that, but something to keep you thinking about the Bible story. So this week, I would like for each of you to choose a way to show God that you know He's holy. Number one, here's an idea. You can choose to sing your favorite praise song. I think you would choose that, Miss Oh, You know me. I love to sing. Or you could sit on the floor and tell God all the things that you love. Or, number three, you could tell your family what you learned about being holy. So you decide which one you're going to choose, or maybe you might even do all three. I think I heard someone say what they're going to do today. I do, too. I think maybe if they're not going to do it all week, they're going to do it today. They're going to get started. Yes. Wow, that's very good. All right. Well, boys and girls, we've really enjoyed telling you this Bible story today. And so I want you to remember, God is holy. So now I want you to bow your heads, and Miss Darlene's going to lead us in a prayer. Dear God, I know you're holy. I will worship you at home and at church, and I will love you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls. It's time for us to say goodbye, and we love you and miss bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Have a great week.